idealist lovers of the Swahili language, we proceed with the last uh, part of the um, of the uh, possessive adjectives. Eh? But lesson uh, 28th, 28th lesson, Somola ishirini na nane. Somola ishirini na nane. Vivumishi vya kumiliki Possessive adjective The last part As I said there are four types of uh, possessive adjectives uh, And today we are going uh, to see the last one Number D We have seen the first one Second, third Now we, we are going to see the fourth one Then we finish up with the possessive adjectives uh, Dearest guys uh, I have been using uh, demonstrative adjectives Such as this and uh, these I didn't use that and uh, those so that I may I might not confuse some of you who are actually uh, still uh, beginners but uh, if you, you look behind I have just explained the use of this and uh, that uh, these and uh, those so no problem we we'll just proceed since what I'm, I'm focusing is the possessive adjective okay changu number D changu singular viangu plural changu viangu changu viangu sentence number one hiki ni kiti changu repeat hiki ni kiti changu this is my chair hiki ni kiti changu in a plural we will say hivi ni viti viangu these are my chairs hivi ni viti viangu these are my chairs so the plural of hiki is hivi the plural of changu is viangu you see guys it's very easy eh? second person eh, eh, singular eh? chako viako means you are hmm? sentence number three hiki ni kitanda chako repeat hiki ni kitanda chako this is your bed hiki ni kitanda chako yes in plural on sentence number four we will say hivi ni vitanda vyako hivi ni vitanda vyako now you see chako in singular has changed to vyako in plural yes we proceed guys a uh, third person singular uh, chake vyake means his or her sentence number five hiki ni kiatu chake hiki ni kiatu chake hiki ni kiatu chake this is his or her shoe sentence number six hivi ni vyatu vyake Hivi ni viatu vyake. Hivi ni viatu vyake. These are his or her shoes. You see. Eh? First person plural. Chetu vietu. Chetu vietu means our. Hmm? Sentence number seven. Hiki ni kitabu chetu. This is our book. Hiki ni kitabu chetu hiki ni kitabu chetu if books are many then we'll say hivi ni vitabu vietu hivi ni vitabu vietu these are our books hivi ni vitabu vietu you see guys it's very easy eh? so it is very easy we proceed uh, second person plural chenu vienu repeat Chenu vienu means you are, but plural. I wrote there plural means the second person plural. Okay, sentence number nine. Hiki niki kombe chenu. This is your cup. Hiki niki kombe chenu. Hiki niki kombe chenu. Sentence number ten. The plural will be hivi niki kombe vienu. Hivi ni vikombe vienu. Hivi ni vikombe vienu. These are your cups. You see? Uh -huh. Now, third person is uh, plural. Chao viao. Chao viao. Sentence number 11. Hiki 
ni kijiko chao. Sore, hiki ni kijiji chao. Hiki ni kijiji chao. Hiki ni kijiji chao means this is their village. Uh, sentence number 12. Hivi ni vijiji vyao. Hivi ni vijiji vyao. Those are their villages. Hivi ni vijiji vyao. You see guys. Hivi ni vijiji vyao. You see. That's how number 4 eh, type of adjective is applied. It is very easy. Swahili is one of the easiest languages in the world. And now I hope you have caught some concepts regarding the use of possessive adjectives. For you guys who are who are interested with me and eh, who actually want to have some more suggestions communications perhaps you want online learning you can just write me via that email so that we can have some arrangements so that we start learning thank you so much guys welcome and goodbye